country hardest hit by Zika, one state has now suspended the use of a pesticide used to kill mosquitoes. The decision by Rio Grande do Sol follows a report by Argentinian scientists that suggests that chemical could be linked to microcephaly. But the health ministry has dismissed the idea that the pesticide could not be causing the birth defect. Well, let's look into this further and talk to Derek Gather, who's a virologist at Lancaster University in the UK. Many thanks for joining us, Derek. What do you make uh, of these uh, research Hello. research claims that uh, that this uh, chemical could be responsible for microcephaly? I think it's unlikely that pyriproxifen, which is the, the pesticide concerned, is the cause of microcephaly because prior to its approval for use as an insecticide, it was tested uh, using the standard process on laboratory animals, uh, rats and mice and guinea pigs, for instance, and it wasn't found to have any production of birth defects in those. It wasn't, uh, as we say, a teratogen, which is the technical term for a compound that's known to cause developmental malformations or birth defects. Um, it's actually quite non-toxic in mammals, uh, and the only toxicity that's been detected is a slight liver toxicity but that would be at very high doses indeed and certainly not the doses that are used uh, to, to, to add to drinking water in, in Brazil would, would cause any liver toxicity either. So um, it's not a particularly good candidate to be the cause of microcephaly. So why would these Argentinian uh, scientists uh, come up with this conclusion? Well, I, I don't know what their full reasoning is. I think that it's simply that uh, they're, they're looking for some cause other than Zika virus. And, and it's true that we, we don't have absolute proof that Zika virus is the cause. But we do now have uh, evidence that in some of the babies that have been born uh, or, or with, with um, microcephaly or have been born dead with severe brain defects, we, we can detect live Zika virus in the brains, which is what we would expect. Uh, unfortunately, we need other studies to, to conclusively prove the association. For instance, some of the things that are going on in labs around the world at the moment are uh, attempts to induce microcephaly in, in pregnant macaque monkeys. We know that macaque monkeys uh, can be infected with Zika virus, so uh, we need to see if we can actually produce microcephalic babies in the monkeys. And also in tissue culture, in brain cells that are grown in addition, the lab, we need to see what Zika virus actually does to the cells. Does Zika virus destroy the cells? Does it change their behavior in any way? And finally, we need better epidemiological evidence. We need a, a, a clear association between presence of Zika virus in pregnancy and the likelihood of that pregnancy ending in microcephaly. And the reason why we don't have that, and unfortunately it's been harder to obtain that information than we anticipated, is that the, the basic data often hasn't been collected and it's, it's been very difficult to get together the facts that we need. Other than Zika, what else has been linked to microcephaly? Uh, there are other viruses that can cause microcephaly. Um, cytomegalovirus, which is a, a relative of herpes virus, occasionally infects pregnant women, um, especially if they're, if they're immune deficient. It doesn't normally uh, cause too many problems in people who have, who have uh, fully functioning immune systems. But where, where it does uh, infect a pregnant uh, woman, it can cause microcephaly and other developmental defects. And of course, we know rubella is a major cause of, of developmental defects. And um, it, it's been pointed out during the cause of, uh, during the course of this outbreak that in fact there are still more cases of microcephaly around the world caused by rubella than, than from any other known viral source and this is because of a failure to, to take up the, the MMR vaccine, the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine which would prevent microcephaly caused by rubella. Okay, Ms. Uh, Dr. Derek Gather, really interesting to hear your thoughts uh, joining us there live uh, from Lancaster University in the UK.